Hi, this is Brandon with Android Device and Tutorials. Here I'm going to show you how to set up your LG G Watch. Um, now, when you first get the G Watch, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and set it on its cradle, let it charge. Um, it will also turn it on when you put it on your cradle for the first time. Um, and this will be the screen you should see where it choose a language, things like that. Um, now, there's multiple things you can do. Um, doesn't really matter the order at this point. First, we're going to want to choose English because that's where we are. Then you install Android Wear on your device. Okay. Now, on the device itself, we have a Nexus 5, but you can use any device that runs Android um, 4.3 or better. Um, so, we'll go ahead and go to Google Play just to kind of show you here. Android Wear. Of course, you can scan for it. Now that's the icon of it, so that's the one you're going to want. Now at this point, you're going to want to install it. Obviously, we already have it on the phone, but we haven't used it yet. We went ahead and installed it just for the interest of the video, not having to wait you know, for it to install. Um, when you first open it, you're going to get this. If you don't have Bluetooth enabled already or turned on, um, you will get something saying you need to turn Bluetooth on, so you're going to want to make sure you have it on. Um, let's go ahead and say Next. Now this just kind of shows some of the features of the device. You want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you see accept. Go ahead and accept that. Now here it's going to say choose a device. Now here you should see G Watch. Okay, so you're going to select that, and you will see where it wants to pair. Make sure the numbers are correct. Obviously, if you're at home, it probably will be. Select pair on your phone. Select the check mark on the the phone the um, watch itself. And wait a moment. It could take five to ten minutes sometimes on the initial setup. Generally, it's that quick. Um, I have seen it take a little bit longer though at times. Um, <clears throat> now that you have it set up, your watch is connected to your phone now. Um, and it will go through kind of a little tutorial on how to do things. You swipe up to see new notifications. Um, you swipe uh, to the right to remove it. Swipe to the left for more information. Well, there's another remove, remove. Swipe to the left, see, you get more information, keep swiping. It will give you um, different options, kind of show you how to use the device, which is nice. Um, so that's that part. Now, next thing you're going to want to do is look at your notification settings on your um, phone itself through Android Wear. So you're going to tap that, and it's going to say um, notification access. See? So do you want to allow it to send notifications to your watch. Yes, it will check it. Okay, that's it. You can actually just exit out of there and close that out. And now you should notice it's going to keep giving you different things, but you tap to undim. So cover with your palm for it to go to sleep, and it's going to run you through these things. So now, once you run through that quick tutorial, um, on the watch itself, it will give you all of your cards, which in this case is email, um, a meeting I have in just a few minutes actually, uh, my stocks, you know, everything that you get on Google um, uh, now on your device already. Um, again, Palm goes to sleep, and that's it. You are all set. Your G Watch is now synced to your device, it is now getting notifications, and everything is working properly. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment in uh, the video here, um, or you can head over to Android Device Tutorials and uh, send us something there. So thanks for watching.